Good evening everybody, welcome to Clacton on Sea. Just come down here tonight for a little while. I've only got about half an hour, so I just thought I'd try to get a picture of the pier and have a little fly back with the drone. So here we are. Camera's already set up. And I'm getting a 20 second exposure with a 10 stop, but F11. Focused in on the pier, ISO 64. I'm going to get a few images and see what they come out like. So let's crack on and get some photos. So back of the camera looks pretty good. A nice fluffy sort of cotton wool looking skirt sea. And yeah, looking good. A little bit in two minds what other photos to take here, but tonight was just about getting out for a little while and doing a little bit got this thing going out here this like old groin I could take a photo of it but I don't think it'll make a very nice photo so I'm going to try a few different exposures on the pier and uh, wipe the images so here we go So what I'm going to do on this video actually, I'm going to show exactly how I set this camera up. I'm in manual, and obviously if I zoom in, you can see I'm actually focused over where the Elta Skelter is on the pier. Obviously, with the light meter, if I wind the... Shit, gone the wrong way. I'm getting a 40 if of a second exposure without a filter, so obviously if I drop the 10 stop filter in I should be able to use either the Lee app to calculate the speed for the shutter or I know it's going to be about, about 20 seconds I can literally just use the light meter and dial in my speed until the light meter goes into the middle I'm going to give it one clip past it and camera's actually on a timer which is press the button 10 seconds later and it'll fire off the shot so obviously I haven't put me remote on tonight so that's basically all I do so it's a pretty simple technique hopefully this will capture a nice picture so yeah I've just moved the camera around. Just going to take a picture of this groin going out, and uh, and I said I wouldn't. I'm going to do a test shot first of all, which is going to be wrong. Let me reset the camera. I'm still on 25 seconds. Let's put live view back on. Um, wind that shot back to. 150th puts it in the middle now so yeah this is what I'm looking at I'm already focused in further away down the jetty thing I press fire give the camera a minute and see what happens and I'm going to whack on a 10 stop and take the photo again so what you think of these say so one thing it's a lovely evening this evening few people about having a stroll down the seafront and yeah it's been a nice day problem is with this collecting the sun sort of drops out sort of where behind where I'm looking where the camera's looking now so you do get the sun pretty much all day then it sort of drifts off towards the east sorry towards the west sort of five o'clock onwards we've sort of just lost the light on the pier so still got a few pictures here and got me out anyway let's have a look what this long exposure's come out like the back of the camera doesn't look too bad but like I say I've taken that photo half a dozen times before because it's pretty local to me but it's all about getting out getting a bit of fresh air and coming down the seafront so yeah what's next let's see
We've just got some lovely light. The sun's just come back out. So I'm just getting another long exposure. So, striving how things change. I don't know if you can see. But yeah. Let's see what this one comes out like, see if it's any better. Yeah, very impressed. The light come out just as I was about to put the camera away, so I just swung the tripod round, levelled up, got my composition, and we've got a nice image with lovely light, so yeah, very pleased. Uh, just like wondering what to do now, though, that's another thing. There's not too much really here. So if I was here a little bit earlier, could have done a little bit more, but it is what it is. Got a few pictures of the pier, one of this groin, and more importantly, I got out with a camera for an hour, so it's all good. Very good. So I think it's time to um, pack up and plan, because I've got to pay off work tomorrow, and I want to make the most of it, because Saturday and Sunday I'm a little bit busy, got bits to do indoors, so... Hopefully I might creep up to Norfolk if I can tomorrow. It all depends on like time and whatever. So, but yeah, good. So, hope you've enjoyed this so far. I'm gonna have a little um, play about here. I don't know if I'm gonna get a few more pictures or back up or what, but I'll come back to you in a minute and I'll speak to you in a bit. Right, so what I did, I put on a 70 to 200, CF 2.81, but I shot at f11. And what I've done is just tried to do like a zoomed in panel of the pier as well, to see what that comes out like. I think it's six shots I've got, and I'll see if I can stitch them together, and it'll be another little image to collection. But like I say, it's nothing special tonight, it's more about getting out with the camera, fresh air, and this is basically where I live. I'm literally two miles that way. So, yeah, all good. So, hope you've enjoyed the video. I keep picking my nose, don't I? Hope, so, so, hope you've all enjoyed the video and look forward to doing another one, hopefully, tomorrow from Norfolk. But, um, let's see if I wake up and see how it goes. So, take care, everybody. Thanks for watching. And if you like what I do, please consider subscribing and give me a thumbs up. Take care. Bye.